Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're finally back with another video since the season ended in May and in today's video I am going to be showing you my League 2 predictions for the upcoming 2022-23 season which is also Stockport County's first season back in the Football League in over 11 years so yeah got some interesting um, predictions to show you if you do go on to enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as we are so close to a thousand subscribers so um yeah but that's it for now without any further ado let's get right into these predictions so going down to the national league i've gone for barrow and stevenage stevenage um narrowly escaped the drop net last season and um, yeah, I just feel like Barrow and Stevenage, they're not good enough sides to stay up next season. I've gone for them too, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did manage to stay up. It's just someone's got to go down. Because you see with the um, lower divisions, you can't really tell, you know, it could be anyone really going down. But I've gone for Barrow and Stevenage. Neither have really invested in the squad going into next season. I know um, Barrow have brought in Waters um, from Halifax. Um, but I, don't, I just don't see them staying up. So I've gone for Barrow and Stevenage going down to the National League next season. So narrowly escaping the drop, I've gone for Rochdale, Harrogate and Grimsby. Obviously Grimsby um, joined County going up from the National League to League 2 last season via the playoffs. I could see them finishing higher. Um, they're a decent team. Um, when I did see them play last season... Um, they were quite good, held us to a nil-nil draw at Edgeley Park and obviously beat us at Blundell Park. So I genuinely could see them finishing higher than 20th, maybe around um, mid-table. But I've just gone for 20th now and um, yeah, I think most Grimsby fans will be happy to stay up. Uh, I don't really know what their ambitions are for next season. But in the bottom half of the table, we've also got the likes of Walsall, Hartlepool, Colchester, Leighton Orient, Crawley Crew and Newport. Obviously, um, Crew had a very poor season last season, finishing bottom in League One, and I don't really see them doing much next season. I don't even think they'll get top half of the table. Um, we also did play them last season and beat them um, five 0 but it's not really. I don't think we can really judge them off that, as um, I'm pretty sure it was uh, mainly a youth side. But yeah, that's who I've gone for in the bottom half of the table in League Two next season. Missing out on the playoffs, I've gone for Gillingham, Carlisle, Wimbledon, Sutton and Tranmere. Gillingham and Wimbledon, two teams who, like Crew, also dropped out of League One last season. I think both teams could potentially push for playoffs next season. But unfortunately, I do not um, predict them to finish in the playoffs. We've got Carlisle there, who I predict will do much better than they did last season. Obviously, they've got players like Christian Dennis, um, proven goal scorers, and I think they genuinely could push for the playoffs next season. They've got Sutton and Tranmere in there too. Um, Sutton are also a very decent side um, for um, parts of last season. During the start of the season, they were in and around the automatic promotion places. And we've got Tranmere there too, narrowly missing out on playoffs again like they did last season. But yeah, that's who I've predicted to finish 12th to 8th. Now let's see who I've gone for to finish in the playoff places. So finishing in the playoff places, I've gone for Doncaster, Swindon, Northampton and Mansfield. Now Mansfield, Northampton and Swindon might seem like quite boring predictions seeing as um, they were three of the four playoff teams last season. But I don't see either of them slipping up from last season. And I could potentially see Manfield even getting automatically promoted. They were very un unfortunate to um, losing the playoff final last season against Port Vale. They're a team with great support and I could genuinely see them going up to League One next season. We've got um, Northampton there too who uh, and Swindon who were beaten in the playoffs last season in the semi-finals. We've also got Doncaster there um, just sneaking into the playoff places. Um, I could see them finishing higher. Um, you know, um, they're a big club dropping out of League One last season. And yeah, they are also a contender for promotion in my eyes. But now let's get on to who I think will finish in the automatic promotion places for next season. So going up from League Two to League One next season automatically, I've gone for my team, Stockport County, Salford City and Bradford City to win the League Two title. I can definitely see County going up next season. 
Um, we've already brought in Kyle Wotton, but I can see us um, spending big this summer. And um, we're linked with the likes of Josh McPake from Rangers, um, Andy Cannon to um, Edgerly Park permanently is also um, a potential transfer. Um, and we've also got Sulphur going up too. We've got a good backing, and I think they will spend big this summer too. And we've also got Bradford, absolutely huge club for League Two, and obviously um, got Mark Hughes as the manager who was managing in the Premier League just a few years ago for Stoke. Um, they've got a good backing too. We can definitely see Bradford winning the League Two title. But those are my League Two predictions for next season. I did hope you enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe for more League Two content and more match day vlogs for next season. I apologise if my predictions were a bit vague because as you see with these lower divisions, they are very hard to predict. Anyone can finish anywhere really. But that is it for today and I should see you in the next one.